Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 13th, 2020. Well, we had a pretty rough and tumble day yesterday. As we went through to the end of the day, we saw some really hard selling coming in. Now, and we left bearish engulfing candles behind on all the four major indexes. But what does that actually mean for today? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs, grab ourselves a beverage of choice, and let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what that means for today's market. Get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we have a very interesting situation. We have bearish engulfing candles left behind selling into the close yesterday with a really sharp, if we take a look at a short term 15 minute chart, we kind of just fell off a cliff um, overnight. And if we um, look at all of the indexes um, that way, even the Qs had a major sell-off that occurred right at the end of the day. So what happened here? Well, first off, we've been kind of pushing and pushing and pushing against bearish resistance or against resistance levels in the chart and seemingly unable to find enough buyers to push through. And finally, the profit takers came into play. Even on the Qs, the NASDAQ, we pushed yesterday. I'm going to go to a 15-minute chart. Let's get rid of all of these lines for a second. On a 15 minute chart, we attempted multiple times to break through um, that high up there and just couldn't seem to get it done. There just wasn't enough energy to do it. And so bang, we went short. Now, unfortunately, anyone who got short quickly yesterday could be getting punished this morning because in rides the Nancy Pelosi party with a new three trillion dollar spending plan um, in government stimulus that includes direct payments to citizens again and all kinds of fun little things um, out there. Well, suddenly the market, um, our stock market. Um, never met debt stip spending that they didn't like. Um, you could spend and spend and spend and spend going debt as far as you want. As long as it comes to the market, that's all they care about. And um, we're getting a gap up this morning of about 100, right now, about 160 points. Now, that certainly doesn't wipe out that bearish engulfing candle, but anyone that got sh short um, late into the uh, into the sell-off yesterday may get a little bit punished this morning as they try to rally this back up and maybe squeeze some of those short positions. And that's one of the ways that they can push a rally beyond a resistance point is to get enough people short and then squeeze them out, force them to buy to cover to lift the market. Now, I can't say that's going to happen today, but that possibility does exist in the light of a three trillion dollar spending plan. Now, what I know of the spending plan so far is that um, the House is expected to vote on it, but the Senate has already said it's pretty much dead on arrival, not going to go any further than that. So maybe the market will catch its breath and realize it's unlikely uh, that kind of a spending plan is going to come forward. Now, what you're seeing here on this chart, and I want to explain this for a second, um, Goldman Sachs has come out a couple times and um, they reiterated yesterday that they expect the market over the next three months to sell off by 20%. So I went through as just kind of a fun exercise and dropped in where they're suggesting the market could go. This is a 20% sell off. Um, that would be pretty grim, but you're going to see that on all my charts. I'm going to leave it there just as a reminder that sometimes predictions work, sometimes it's just foolish to predict. But let's Keep that on there just to see how accurate Goldman might be on that prediction. So right now we have a bearish engulfing candle. Now, technically speaking, 
what has really happened here? Well, to be honest, not much. Um, let's go to a daily here. I didn't realize I was on a two day chart there. We go to a daily, really not much has happened. You can see we pulled back into some price support area. All of this area right through here is providing some price support in the chart. There's just that congestion right in here. And we're still above our 50 day moving average. So even though we dropped 400 points into the close, uh, technically speaking, not a lot really happened here, but this does display the danger of a wide range chop and why we have to be vigilant in protecting ourselves in a market like this. When we can get 400 points just quickly in a few minutes dropping hard, it shows us um, what I've kind of been warning of. If we do pull back that possibility of a 1,000, 1,200, 15 point, 100 point move in the Dow, can happen really, really fast. So just keep that in mind and plan that into your trades. We want to respect this wide range that we're in and that possibility that if those bears do reass um, reassert themselves, how quickly we could really uh, cavitate a lot and that would be really punishing to a lot of folks' accounts. So keep that in mind. As I said yesterday, um, uh, last couple of days, it may have been a good time to have been taking profits um, considering the condition of the market and that certainly seemed to play out as to be the correct, um, correct answer. Um, because of what occurred yesterday. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look. Uh, once again, I want to uh, reiterate that um, even though we had that big sell-off, technically we haven't really damaged these charts all that much. And you can see a bearish engulfing candle does suggest a further follow through to the downside, but in the light of a $3 trillion stimulus package, maybe not. And we're really pushing down here into some support areas of price and congestion areas here in price that even if we do get a little bit lower, we could bounce off of that. So just keep that in mind. Now, if we were to slip all the way down to the 200 day moving average, the good news, or the 500 day, the good news that we have in here is that 500 day has started to flatten out in turn. So we have a pretty decent level of price support down in here on the SPY. If we got all the way down in there, it might be a little challenging to push on through there for the bears um, unless there's something new coming out. Now, of course, we did hear from health officials yesterday that uh, pretty sobering comments on the fact that um, reopening the economy too soon could really create um, some more economic problems. And what, basically what they said is um, un unnecessary suffering and death. Um, obviously, uh, pretty grim um, comments to Congress yesterday, but we're still proceeding with the opening. Um, but perhaps the market um, woke up a little bit to the fact that this won't be as easy a recovery as I think a lot of people are suspecting it could be. Let's take a look at uh, the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ had a pretty darn ugly pullback yesterday, leaving a bearish engulfing candle, but let's just put that in perspective. We have stretched this market very, very hard, very, very fast up here, just rallying, rallying, rallying. We were in our seventh day of upside poten uh, potential move yesterday, and this pullback really doesn't hurt anything. Um, certainly, it is a damaging technical pattern, uh, bearish engulfing candle, but please keep in mind, that bearish engulfing candle means nothing unless we get follow through to the downside. If we don't get follow through to the downside, that bearish engulfing candle really kind of drifts away into history is um, not that important. So keep that in mind. If we can't push through to the downside, if the bears don't have enough energy to follow through, may not mean anything overall. And technically we are still in a very good technical pattern on the NASDAQ with a 50 starting to turn up and maybe even cross back up through that 200. As you can see, uh, NASDAQ's getting the biggest bump up this morning, uh, percentage-wise trying to gap back higher um, this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM had a pretty rough day yesterday as well, selling off really strongly. 
What's important about this chart is we actually created a lower high here. We're still holding on to this trend, but we created that lower high, that bearish engulfing candle, not very complimentary to the chart at all. And if we push lower, we want to watch this price support level, maybe right through here, right in here and right above that 50 day moving average for a level of support. So with that, let's take a look at the VIX real quickly. Now the VIX suddenly had a spike in fear yesterday. It came up pretty quickly. The important things to note here in this chart, however, is we did find we did find this price level of support that I mentioned yesterday in the video. Found, found that price level of support, we did bounce off of it. But even though we made kind of an extreme move all of a sudden, at least at this point, we have not broken the downtrend overall. Certainly some worry, some concern here, but if we were to pop above that downtrend and then hold it as support. That's where the real fear would come in. So far, that's not the case. And with a gap up this morning, we're gonna actually probably settle this back down into this range. So kind of keep that in mind, unless we break that downtrend, probably not a whole lot to fear here just yet in the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122. That's the four week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look at that, yesterday's sell off pushed us down hard. Yes. Um, really pushing us down hard down here toward that b uh, bullish reversal zone. We didn't make it there, suggesting there's still more room for us to move down if those bears want to push, still more room to move down. Now, I suspect this gap up this morning on the stimulus bill could bring us up into this area that once again opens up more opportunity we could see that gap up and those bears reassert themselves pushing us down so kind of keep that in mind we could have a little bit of a pop and drop today if those bulls don't really engage and push really hard defending uh, that bearish engulfing candle. So watch that carefully. This could go either way and we could see quite a little bit of volatility today. So adding a, a bit more challenge to the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar and our economic calendar will be kind of an interesting thing to watch over the next few days. We have PPI numbers. Those PPI numbers this morning are not expected to be good at all. Uh, producer price or numbers, you can um, see we have a um, consensus of more than doubling the prior um, negative number in PPI. And you can see the consensus goes all the way down there to 0.9. So pretty substantial change there in PPI. Um, we'll see if the market uh, gets a reaction to that or not here at 8.30. We also have Jerome Powell speaking at 9 o'clock. Unlikely we'll learn anything new, but he's probably going to continue to, um, you know, support the fact that they will do whatever possible. They will do anything. They will continue to spend until it hurts buying up everything that they can right now to support the market. Um, we'll also get um, petroleum status numbers and um, right now, production cuts seem to be having an effect on the petroleum status. We'll have to wait and see on that, but seem to be having an, an effect, and that may actually help support the market if oil prices stabilize a little bit. So keep an eye on that. Then remember, tomorrow morning before the market opens, we have those jobless claims. We're expecting another 2.5 million in unemployed next week, raising our number um, to about 35 million people, over 35 million people unemployed. Pretty remarkable numbers that we've been able to rally so far and uh, no one yeah, seems to care about that unemployment number. And then we have big numbers here on Friday that we'll wanna pay attention to. Um, retail sales um, and industrial production, we'll wanna watch those, a lot of potential uh, market movers as we head into the end of the week. On the earnings front, we are starting to reduce a little bit of our earnings um, 
uh, reports as we um, head into, well, we're kind of sliding in toward the end of this earnings season. Today, we have just short of 150 companies reporting. Tomorrow will be our biggest day, nearly 300 companies reporting. But a lot of these companies are not particularly notable. However, today we do have our most notable Cisco will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That's going to be an important report to pay attention to. Jack will also be reporting today. Jack in the Box, one of those notables that we might want to keep an eye on. We have SDS reporting today that could move us around a little bit. And we have TCEH. Did I spell that right? T-C-E-H-Y, one of those five symbol <laughs> um, um, tickers that always uh, throws me off. So you can see uh, this will be reporting today. I don't know where this might go. Left a bearish engulfing candle behind tomorrow, and I'm not seeing any bid ask on this so far this morning. So keep a close eye on this. Um, anything is possible. So with that, everyone, um, let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. Would you believe it? Because of all of these morning market prep videos, I'm now over 800 videos on YouTube and I want to say thank you to everyone for for the kind support that you've had for this channel and all the um, wonderful wonderful comments I truly truly appreciate it thank you so much and um, if you find that this video was helpful if this um, video met your expectations and trying to help you plan for your day forward if you could please click that uh, thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment I, I really appreciate it now I didn't have time to answer those comments yesterday but I will get to, to that today so I apologize I just had too many irons in the fire yesterday to um, get to all of those comments but thank you everyone who does take the time to do that so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up places we might want to be watching um, over uh, today. And the um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to um, the oil sector. Take a look at first XLE. Now, I want to let you know that I am holding the oil sector and I am holding here in XLF. I wanted to um, have something that didn't have major impact on um, individual earnings. And even though we saw this little bit of a slide yesterday into the close, a little bit of push down, there was a lot of stocks yesterday showing good signs in um, oil prices. Take a look at SLB. SLB continuing to hold in this nice little wedge pattern. Keep an eye on this. There's that possibility that this could continue to consolidate. But remember, we get that oil um, status number today. This could move either up or down. Might want to keep an eye on it. CVS is also another, um, I think, worthy of watching. Now, it's been challenged by these highs up here, and we did get that little push to the downside um, at the end of the day yesterday yesterday but we could see that number popping right back up here uh, depending on how that oil status uh, comes out um, MRO was a really beautiful chart yesterday uh, moving up nicely and as you can see holding in this nice consolidation and alert up here would make some sense and even though we pulled back yesterday because of that selling into the close there is that possibility that we could still hold on to this trend and pop on through so keep a keep an eye on some of those oil service stocks um, you could also look into the refining um, area. Valero Energy um, holding up quite well. Now, one thing about Valero that is a little bit of a bummer is it's pushing up into some um, substantial price resistance and also the overall downtrend. But other than that, Valero's holding up in a nice pattern. And although it had some selling yesterday, if we can get some bullish numbers coming out of that um, oil number, um, later on today is a possibility that we could catch some rally in these charts. 
Let's take a look at some other sectors and some other charts um, that may be of interest. Take a look at um, Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers pulled back again. Uh, we're going to see this across all of these charts. Um, that pullback yesterday that occurred in the market kind of affected a, a lot of these. Weight Watchers has been holding up in this nice little trend. And it, you can see this morning it's gapping back up, kind of wiping out that uh, pushback yesterday. So we're up here at this high point, maybe even triggering alert this morning. And we have that possibility that this could hold that trend and pop up into this, um, these layers of resistance up in here and move up nicely. Now, trading this with the stock, that might not be enough move for you to make the kind of money you want to make. But I'll tell you in an option trade, there's more than enough money um, in that potential move up there. So keep an eye on that. We also have lots of other stocks that continue to look very, very good. Uh, take a look at X. Um, I am actually holding X, and even though it pulled back hard yesterday at the end of the day, U.S. Steel has been looking really good in this rally. Now, this morning, it's looking to gap up once again like everything else. If it can continue to hold in this trend and continue to push up, might be um, that opportunity to make some nice money on it. We'll keep an eye on that. Now, one thing that I've been concerned about and a place that you might want to find, you might find some short trades is in the financials. One of the things I have never witnessed, I guess, in, in my career is to see the market trying to break out to new highs and seeing the financials moving south. Right now, our financial sector is not looking very healthy. And as you can see, created this lower high in the chart and really tried to break down um, support levels here in the chart. So XLF, I'm a little bit worried about this financial sector. And if we take a look at some of the stocks included in there, take a look at JP Morgan. JP Morgan breaking down here. Um, this is really looking short here overall. And, and honestly, I have never seen our markets make new highs or break out to new highs when we see financials moving lower like this. Now, we're going to get a little gap, gap up here this morning like everything is on that $3 trillion uh, spending bill but not very healthy here overall. And if we look at some of those major banks, they're all looking kind of the same way. Uh, BAC giving up its um, uptrend here and starting into a downtrend, looking kind of ugly. Um, Citibank um, kind of in the same situation. We have WFC actually looking like it you know, it's just jumped off a cliff here, uh, falling um, lower here. So lots of these financials might be a place where we can find um, some short trades um, if you're looking for those. They're not looking very healthy here overall. Other places that you might look, there's tons and tons of charts that are showing bullishness. Take a look at tractor supply, tractor supply moving up here trying to break through this resistance yesterday, that little bit of selling pulled it back down. Let's keep an eye on this. This is moving up in a nice, beautiful trend. Any rest consolidation up here where this holds into this trend gives us that opportunity for more upside moves. So there's lots of those charts. Humana, I've been mentioning Humana. There's been no one wanting to sell here on Humana. Tried to pop through yesterday. Once again, that selling into the close pulled that back. But it looks like it's gapping up this morning and Humana may be ready to kind of take off to the upside. So lots of good positive trades out there to watch as well. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And once again, I want to say thanks to everyone for uh, participating in the video and thank you for leaving those comments. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Remain safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.